hello and welcome. I hope everyone's all right. I'm uh, just heading out straight after work, near enough, just for hopefully a nice relaxing camp. I was going to try and come really lightweight, just use like a poncho shelter and stuff like that. But there's something I've found that I've bought ages ago and almost forgot about it. I thought I'm going to test out. I do want to get set up quite early. I don't really want to hike too far. But it's gone six now. So, I'm not 100% sure on the time of the sunset, but I do want to get set up at a reasonable time and get chilled and relaxed. And the person on there. And this Miltech bag, it is a good bag for the price, but I am seeing its limitations. I've sort of overpacked it. It's well, if you've got more than, I don't know, 10, 12 kilos in it, it's not the most comfortable for a, for a longish walk. But up to that point, up to that, it's, it's, it's pretty serviceable. But yes, yeah, a lovely evening. Looking nice in there. Obviously, I want it to be like that, but a bit further in, away from this track. I might just go for it. And Lord Log. I was planning to go further up here and then dip into the left or the right, whatever looked appealing. But I keep looking in here. I keep looking in here and thinking, it's getting on half six now. Do I just go in here? It's not sort of where I planned, but it looks nice. But I want to be far enough away from the track. I'm going to go and have a little... Uh, there's another track here. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm going to stick with my original plan. For, oh, I don't know though. No, I am. I'm going to stick with my original plan. Which was... Wing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> go a bit further along this track and dip into the left or the right. And it's not going to be far from where I did my first... Yeah, it's a bit near where I did my first video, near the tumuli. The tumuli. and open in there but as you can see quite well um, shielded from the path right, that path I've just come off I don't think is widely used my shelter this is a disadvantage my shelter is big and comfortable but that can, it's not always an advantage when you want to be plotted up out of the way it's a lovely little clearing here's a vehicle just gone or someone walking someone walking see him There's the tumuli. <laughs> the tumuli. I think 
it is. Look. Is it the same one? I think it is, you know. I'm in that sort of ballpark. See, I'm distracted again. I've got to go and just check. I'm not wanting to camp in here, though. But I'm not going to go in here somewhere. Oh, I need to find somewhere pretty soon. Yeah, mate. Where was I before? It must have been over that way. I didn't know that it was so close to a clearing here. Shall I just go? Return to the tumuli. Just go to the same place. Do you know what? Do you know what? Why not? Why not? Oh man, I remember stumbling through here in the pitch black. It was horrendous. Here it is. It's been cut. That was pretty. It's got to be it, isn't it? It is it. The Termuli. <laughs> I can think. I heard all voices and mad stuff going on here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go there. Well, seems. I was planning coming near here, but not here. So I'm going to head down there and I'm going to plot up. Definitely. I think that's where I set up. I was thinking of going here because of the log as a chair. But then, if I have to get out, where do I go? Lights fading, I don't know how well you can see this. This is the inner of the tent I've got. You can obviously do this on a ridge line straight across bungees each side, or I've used jungle knots. It's slightly on the skew, but if I set it up the wrong bleeding way, I have. No, I haven't. The other side does that as well. Oh, mate. Loads of room. It's a really good, it's pretty good. Bottom's a little bit flimsy. I should have put a sheet down under, but I haven't got one. Anyway, let me do it up. Because it, well, there's already a bug trying to get in there. So you can have this just on, your, on its own. On a clear night, we know there's going to be no rain. Look up at the stars, but I think it's due to rain in the night. So I've got the Fort of Fly tarp that goes with this, which I'm going to whack over. Light is fading. I don't know how we can see. It's similar to like it's like a cross between um, a backwards bungalow. And the one tigress tangram, which I've also got. You can have it like a baker's tent, basically. Baker's shed, I think I've got the term right there. I haven't set it up perfectly, but. You can have it completely open, both ends open. Who's inside? Look at that, look. loads of them. I have never seen my feet. Got a few hanging, hanging points there, free. You can make an internal ridge line and hang all sorts. But yeah, it's crusty. One tigress, a four tiff line. I've just done it like this because I haven't got much room to peg out with all the uh, brambles. I keep hearing funny noises here again. Seriously. But anyway, I've got to get, in, get chilled out and get myself sorted out. I'm going to have one of these tonight. I might not show you me cooking it. I'm going to do it straight on the trangia. Salad de pâtes au salmon. Um, yeah. It's a French uh, salmon. Potato salad. I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, out of a French army ration pack. I'm going to do it on here.
Anyway, I'm going to put some Nordic. Luckily, I've got some spare. I'm just going to put some East Nordic summer on. I know it's got a bug mesh, but I've had the bug mesh open. But so far, I found this stuff to be good. So hopefully, tonight won't prove any different. I just had a deer in the bushes right behind me. What's that? Someone was bloody coming. But it's unlikely. It's unlikely. Not completely impossible, but unlikely. And it ran off a little bit and started barking and going, going mental. And it's run off up there somewhere, I can hear it. Finally got me food on. I thought I'd come and not forgot nothing for once. But I forgot me uh, sporky thing. So I'll have to eat it with me knife or me fingers, I don't know. Always something. Always something I forget. One thing. Always. That's no major deal, but it's just a little bit of a. It's just another one of them little things that just gets on your week. So I'm going to grip the, pack, the tin with these, peel that top bit off, and then munch it with my knife, probably. That thing has been going on for the last 15 minutes, listen. It's getting closer. And there's some sort of daddy long legs fly thing. Caught between the tarp and the bug mesh. There's these little spiders. I've seen loads of them tonight. Most of them are on the outside. They aren't ones on the inside, look. You can see them. Loads of them. Loads of them. I was all on the outside here a little while ago. This, this setup, this tent, this forty fly, is, um, it is decent. It is decent if you want to, especially if you want to spend a lot of time in. Is he on the outside or the inside? He's gone. I think he's on the outside. Yeah, there's loads of them. There's another one that he's on the inside. But he's going on a little, little look at the ones on here. Look. It's just that little spot, they're, they're all over. Stop for a sec. A morning. Wow. And Good morning to me little spider friends. <laughs> Look at them, I've gathered up by the light. That old deer who was uh, barking last night, just before sort of bedtime or at bedtime, was doing it a little while ago. It's what actually woke me up a little while ago. Not long ago. What am I doing? <sighs> Let's have a look at the day. It looks like, it's just got the feel it's gonna be a lovely day today. What a mad place to wake up. Awesome. Waking up in a pine forest. Yeah, 
it's blooming nice now. Smells lovely. Coffee outside. Gorgeous, it's a beautiful temperature, just right. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a real nice day. It's my birthday. <laughs> Man, there's something just so peaceful and satisfying about waking up somewhere like this in the morning. Oh, packed up. That's where I was. Approaching the tumuli. It's a burial ground. If it is, I mean, no disrespect, my friend, not being great. I didn't realise how close this was to a here and there. There's a track up there, probably about 100, 150 metres. Oh, there's a tumuli. I'm going to take this old fleecy off in a minute. It's only a little one, but it's already boiling hot. Times it must be about 8 o'clock now. I was over there. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you to anyone who's watched, subscribed, liked. That is well appreciated. I'm not on any other forms of social media at all. I don't know, maybe I should be. I don't know. And um, hopefully catch you soon. Hopefully, all being well. <laughs>